There is no hidden charge. You cannot top up the account anymore. Correct? This is how the broker promised to us earlier. Deepa? So that means, after you just... <laughs> okay, after you finish all this money in a week's account, then that is the best time you are going to do a big trade under the standard account. Because you know why, guys? Most of the trainers, forex trainers out there, they will always ask you to go and use trading uh, using a demo account or dummy account. Have you heard about it? Mm -hmm. But sorry to say that I won't believe any demo accounts. Because I don't want you to repeat the same mistake again and again that what I did one and a half years ago. This is what happened to me personally, right? I'm a little bit sharing with you, right? So the moment I... You know, uh, I just opened a demo account. They gave me one million uh, US dollars. Whose money is that? It's demo only one. Correct or not? So that means it's just a number over there, correct? So, do you think that the money is not belong to you? Do you think that you do a trade, you know, uh, a bit seriously? <coughs> of course, no, isn't it? And of course, within three weeks, by having one million, I make three million dollars. You know what my inner heart says? Ellen, you are ready now, go for the standard account, which is the real money. You see, when, when I am about to enter to the standard account, within few seconds, I lost all my money. How come? Then only I realized that this all demo accounts, they created in a such a way you easily can make your money. Then only you will be coming down to life account. It's a business uh, technique, right? correct or not? Because brokers always wanted to be in a win-win situation. All they want is, you. they want you to be trade, that's it. Either you're making a profit or loss, that is another part. They want you to trade under their brokerage firm, that's it. So now you understand why I don't want to go for a demo account. End of the day, our life also will be dummy. To this day. <laughs> so that's why under FX, uh, FX United, they say we already have this as a learning account. Whereby, this is a life account. Clear? So whatever more than $650 you make as your profit, you can withdraw that money to your local bank accounts anytime. So far clear, sir? Yes, ma'am. In Siga, in Siga account, <laughs> how, uh, do you have an agreement? Shampre. <laughs> of course we have. To we have. take my money. Yeah. So whatever just now Mr. our speaker Mr. Ivan told you, isn't it? Everything is written in that agreement. And of course you can, even though you have never deposited any money, you still can print up that agreement. As long as you are a member in FX United. This is what I did. Okay, the moment I get to know about this under FX United, of course this is, uh, to be frank with you guys, alright? This is what people always say that, uh, too good to be true. <laughs> Am I right to say that? Of course, this is how I, you know, uh, my perception also before I came to this industry. Okay? All I thought is, how come a financial institution, our local financial institution cannot be giving this much of money? How come broker can give? Question mark isn't it? So, that's why I did my homework, okay? Even though I never put any single deposit money in this CG80 at that time, I still print out something like this with a letter K and I consult with my lawyers. I consulted with three lawyers whereby uh, the first one is from Malaysia, second one is from Singapore and the last lawyer here from uh, Philippines. And according to them, this is valid. And whatever Mr. Ivan told you just now, everything is written over here. Except one, the 12% to 20%. Why they never write down here? Any idea? Excuse me. Aside from that, do you have an issue check? Aside from that agreement, uh -huh. do you have an advance check? Advance check? No, we don't have any checks over here. Everything is still, uh, you know, in online base. Whereby you're going to have your own cabinet or e-wallet system. And then from the e-wallet system, you can send all your money, whatever your profit, to your direct local bank account. But strictly no third party withdrawal is allowed because we're dealing with money. So we need to uh, comply with PSP rules and regulations, especially this AMLA law, Anti-Money Laundering Act. Yes, of course. I come back to that question again. Why they never indicate you have to do 20% over here? Because whatever you're going to write up in the agreement, it must be stated very clearly. 
But that means if the broker says we're only giving you 12%, that means they'll be able to put here. You understand what I'm talking about? If they say 20, 12 to 20 percent, which whereby they cannot put in an agreement, you consult with your own lawyers. They know what I'm talking about. So the rest, everything is written over here. And if this is not a book, only two pages. If it takes about two days to read all this, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is normally happens. Am I right or not? The moment we go for a financial institution, they're giving you a book, something like this thing. Correct or not? Because of they are giving you a very big, you know, the costly pen, so called as Mont Blanc. We don't even know what is written over there, very small, correct? We keep on signing only after 300 pages. Correct or not? Yes. Happens or not? Yes. See? So, guys, um, to be frank with you, right? Even I also already, you know, uh, deposit the money and I already finished my 12th month. Now I'm going to my second year already. Almost half, uh, six months already. I'm still getting my money. No obligation. But here, what I'm trying to say is, don't ever always you know, uh, depend on this 12%. Why? Today, there's a software, so we depend on that. How if the software never exists tomorrow, for example? May I just say that? Yes. Correct or not? So that's why we are here to teach you a skill work, so-called as art. Right? By get to know this, whenever you have a time, as long as you have an internet connectivity and a smartphone, you'll be able to trade anywhere else around in the corner of the world. You see? That's the main reason I'm here. Even I created my own uh, software. I really wanted to know how this uh, mechanism of CG80 really works. And of course, I have in my laptop. If you're interested, maybe uh, later part, I will run for you. See? And I know each and every calculation, how they can give you 12%. Exactly. Yes? Um, just a related question. Because uh, I apologize for arriving late, but the trading is not done through the software. It's just, it's just monitoring your income. Okay, uh, over here, isn't it? Yes. Okay, under the CG80 plan, we cannot disturb the account at all. That means you cannot press the button so-called as buy and sell at all. Yes. Let the software do the trading for you. And over the day, oh. they're going to pay you to to tra uh, 20% per month. So it's the software that you predict will help you with the Definitely. Function. The software knows what to do. Everything yeah, is, you know, uh, it, you know, everything is uh, like, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a program ready actually. So the, the one where we do it manually is with the wings? The wings and the standard account, and, of course, okay. yes. Because wings is a learning account. You can't see a big profit over there because the learning economy, right? But you really can make your make your millions over here under the standard economy. And of course, uh, please bear in mind that we have to follow the money management. Otherwise, always remember this thing. Huh? I always tell this to my traders. Even though you have hundred million of US dollars in your account as equity, do you think it's big enough? Hundred million dollars, big enough? Yes. Yeah, okay. How big is your hundred million compared to six trillion dollars every day? See how small really your hundred million now? Correct or not? Yes. So guys, that's why I say you're going to fight with six trillion dollars out there, correct? Even though you have hundred million US dollars, it's still a small dot. So make sure you follow your money management. Otherwise, sorry to say this, your account will be wiped out. That means we will be kicked out from the market. If, uh, if, for example, you were to start with the wings and then you, you're conservative, let's say you don't have any referrals as of yet, it's just you trading, how long will it take you to get to the standard? Okay, actually, the first question is, the, according to the broker, they never uh, ask anyone, they never compel anyone to go and uh, refer someone else, correct or not? It's up to you. If you wanted to refer someone, just go ahead. If you don't think so, then it's okay. Right now, from uh, which is the time frame from here to transfer to this account, okay. correct or not? Yeah. It depends on the individual. Yeah. So if, if let's say let's say you are trading conservatively every day. Mm. Let's say so. Let's say you trade maybe five to ten okay. times in a day. Okay. If you're on the first one, how do you? Normally, I will say that. From this account to change to this account, at least 200 times you need to trade. Mm. 200 times. 
And that one also I must see Two. whether you're making a profit or all loss. Okay. If you're going to make all loss, then no point you're going here because you're going to lose all your money also, right? <laughs> Correct or not? Yeah. So that's why we are having uh, classes, the trainings. And of course, you know, Forex industry is not a cheaper industry out there. Correct or not? Uh, I think uh, last, last month, they just have a Forex talk. This guy from Australia came down in an oak wood. Have you heard about that? I saw in every Facebook, you know. Everyone is doing a massive uh, advertisement on that. You know how much you need to pay for that, guys? End of the day, 460,000 pesos. Are you willing to do that? Even I also, no. <laughs> Seriously, because at that time, I got no money. Almost I dead broke like, you know what he said, even though I have shops, everything is gone bankrupt. Because Ringgit Malaysia is crash free. Have you heard about that story, right? Now it's, it's happening also somewhere in the middle. So, what I did, I just attend to the preview, some, something like this. Okay, I was seated in the other side, but not in Philippines, in Malaysia. I just uh, heard about this. I just listened about this. Then I did my own research. What is forex industry is all about? Okay. Then I found out these brokers. By having 500 US dollars, you can become as a member. Most of the brokers says you must have 50,000 US. You must have 10,000 US. Whereby I don't have at that time. Correct or not? Now, another challenge I face. Once I become as a member, the next thing, you need to know how to trade. Otherwise, you're going to lose all your money. Correct or not? So I adopt two... Uh, guru in my life. You know what is guru, right, friends? So I don't know how you're going to spell your guru because at the early stage, right, in Singapore and Malaysia, I have begged to a lot of traders. Ask them to please teach me how to trade. You know the only question what they tell me? Why should I teach you? Happens or not? So this is what they ask me because then only I realize they are talking about real money. Diba? If I'm going to teach you, you make all profit, you're going to praise me. Right? How if you're going to lose all your money? Curse me. Hello. <laughs> to be frank. Correct or not? Someone will be killing you also. Right? You're looking hungry for me, right? So, this is the only reason the traders out there not willing to teach you for free. That's why they're asking for 10,000 US dollars. Clear? So I adopt two gurus in my life. The first one is, I call my guru like this. Have you known him? Yes. Oh, wow, what a coincidence. <laughs> Everyone knows, right? He is a good chap, you know. Whenever you ask a question, huh, he will always smile at you and answer your question. <laughs> Have you encountered, whenever you ask a question, he said, No, I'm not feeling well. Tomorrow you come, I ask. <laughs> no, right? Hello. Facts, isn't it? Sometimes his English is a bit bombastic until I cannot understand. Right? So, I will go to his best friend. This fellow is somehow good. Yes. He gives us some colorful videos. Guys, joke aside, I learned how to trade from these two guys. Now you tell me, do you need to pay 10,000 US dollars to become a Sephora trader? Mm -hmm. So this is what I did. When Miss May called me, she, uh, I know her, oh, I might be here, uh, I know her for the past uh, 15 to 18 years. Right? So when I was in Singapore, she always called me, she asked for a business. Whereby, uh, this business I be able to give to the uh, people, you know, uh, in the Philippines, right? Something like that. And uh, when I told her, yes, I'm in a business, so-called as forex industry, she don't even know what I'm talking about. When I said it's something to do like a money changer, she said, oh, I don't have that much of money. You see? Then I came to Philippines on uh, September, somewhere middle of September. Then uh, the same thing, I talked to her. At that time, she told me, I'm too old to learn all this. Some of them are told something like that. Correct or not? Right? And then, uh, I told her, Sempre, you also can do that. So the moment I asked her to trade, very easy, in the mind. Because you know why? You only have two buttons, correct? Yes. Buy and sell. In order to press this button, do you need diploma? <laughs> Degree? 
what's the big deal? But guys, I'm having my PhD. I passed my high school with difficulties. <laughs> Seriously, I failed in my mathematics. I'm very glad to declare that I failed in my mathematics. I don't know why. The moment I'm talking about mathematics, you see I'm sweating. <laughs> so guys, in order to just press this, we don't need PhD. I don't want diploma. I don't want anything else. It's just a matter of prediction, your understanding. That's it. Nothing to do with calculation. You understand now? The moment the market or the graph is moving up, you need to press buy in order to make a profit. Basic. The same graph is moving down, you still can make your money by just press a button, sell. That's why our youngest trader also can do that. Yes. Guys, imagine, uh, now he is about four years old, three and a half or four, right? Four years old. He know the skill work, correct or not? Once he became as a teenager, after his school life, after his degree or whatever it is, do you think this kid can go to somewhere else and work under people? Why? He can hire people to work for him. Exactly. That's why in Singapore, until now, they lack of manpower. Why? Every Singaporean wanted to become as a own boss. Then who's going to work? That's why we have a lot of OFW, even people from China. From Vietnam, because they're willing to pay you more. Am I right? See? So, guys, that's why I say, I told Miss May, from those days, I don't know why, Philippines is my second home. Yeah, this is not the first time I'm coming and go back to Philippines. For the past few 20 years, I'm in and out to Philippines. Yeah, but it's not because of girlfriends or what. Huh? <laughs> okay, so guys, we have a more, we have an objective over here. All right, very simple. Sir, one more question. Yes, ma'am. How do I trade? Do you have a merchant? How do I trade? How do you trade? Yes. You have to become as a member first. Then we will teach you step by step what to do. Do you have a merchant? Merchant? Yes. Merchant for what, ma'am? Any other? In return. Products? Something you can get. Products for? Company. I don't remember. Trading platform. Trading platform. Trading platform. Trading platform. Trading platform. Trading platform. Of course, we have a trading platform so called as MT4. Like what Mr. Ivan told you just now. The Meta Trader 4. That is the only platform that we have. That platform is belongs to uh, Russians. Very high health platform. Yeah, but you must assign a broker, a registered broker, in order to get into that platform. We just cannot just enter like that. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Okay, guys. Uh, see, I forgot what I wanted to say just now. Okay, never mind. Is there anything to ask? Yes, ma'am. How do we deposit the money to the account to trade? Do you have an affiliated bank or does it work with any Okay, bank? that's why we call... This term, MIB. Have you heard about it just now? Yes. It's not man in black. Huh? <laughs> this is master introducer broker. So who is our... Okay, there is only one MIB for a country. For Philippines, that is Miss May. That means she is the one brought this broker all the way from New Zealand to Philippines. You understand? Now, so the, the broker, you know, uh, is already giving, uh, giving an authorization to our MIB to just collect the money, that means to deposit and withdraw for the Filipinos out here. Something like a money changer, buying and selling. You understand? So, of course, we have our own uh, corporate accounts. So, if you want to deposit the money, you can go to any other local banks out there. You can deposit the money. And then, they, she will send you a US dollars in your e-wallet. So, by using that, you can add on your account. Okay, guys. I'm still looking for another two more interesting questions. How about tax payment? Very good. This is what I wanted to ask. But before that, anything else? Yes, sir. Um, sir, you read that just last year that there was an issue with, with uh, commodity futures brokers, right? Just last year, one broker, one broker in the port was given a CDO by the SEC. Exactly, but it's not affects all. It's not affects all. It all depends. Uh, this is too technical, really, actually. They are under the STD or ECN brokers. 
Yeah, of course we are from the liquid provider. See, so they are the one controlling the brokers actually. So the one, what you ask is uh, on the mafia brokers, whereby they stand alone, they don't have any liquid providers. You see? So, you understand right now? <coughs> so, if you fix all the technical RTs with the SEs already. Over here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Shantri, yes. Yeah, when I'm talking about uh, the authorization uh, in, to, 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 to do this business in here in Philippines, right? So far, we already have all our licenses, correct? Even BSP already approved us. But the only thing is, we are just waiting for their document to be collected. And I think we are waiting for two and a half weeks ready for that. But they already approved us. Of course, yes. Yes, CGAT, the software? Okay. Uh, actually, there is a calculation for that, but that is too technical already. You really want to listen? I can write it down. Uh, it's okay. But is there a possibility that you would lose the money that you place it under the CGAD? Of course, it all depends on you, other than CGAD, right? Of course, that's why we say that. We say that that four factor. Of course. Guys, always remember, this is a very, very high risk industry. Yes, of course. But at the same time, high return also. If you're going to follow your money management, shouldn't be a problem. Believe me. But always remember that, you know, we have a little heart. Correct or not? The moment you make $10, do you think you will stop? No. One more. Diba? Correct or not? Like what I can see. <laughs> One more, correct or not? So the moment you make hundred dollars, do you think will you stop? No. That will go for thousand dollars. Whereby your equity is just hundred dollars. So easily you do wipe out. So we must control ourselves. We must discipline ourselves. Right? Now let me ask you a very important question before the taxation. Forex industry or forex trading is legal or illegal in Philippines? Who said so? It's legal. I said it's not legal. Yes, of course. Why? Illegal? No law. Okay, guys. The answer is goes like this. Actually, forex in uh, forex trading is not legalized, or it is not ali. Uh, no, uh, what do you call? Uh, it's not legal, or it is not illegal. So what BSP trying to say? They just stay in the middle, stand in the middle, so-called as grey area. They say, do on your own risk. You understand? Did they ask you to don't do? They still ask you to do, Deepa, but on your own risk. If you're going to lose all your money, don't come to me. Me means BSP. Right? Why I say this is not legal? Because if you say this is legal, they would have teach you what, like what Singapore is doing right now. Do you know that you're having a high school, Diba? Am I right or not? For the last three years in Singapore, high school, they're teaching their kids on the 14 years huh, how to trade. What is Forex industry is all about? That's why <coughs> they're so successful. And 33% of people, Singapore people, are Forex traders. Yes, ma'am. Um, uh, this is uh, uh, Sir Ivan just told us that there's only a 10 percent and 90% failures. How can you keep money? The failure in the in this industry. I will answer you answer to you after this. You know? Right? Let me finish this. Otherwise, I will. You know? <laughs> okay. See where I was. <laughs> Too much of the things sometimes. Okay, guys. So uh, they would have teach you, correct or not? But why they never do though? Never, never do so. Even in Malaysia, also they never teach us. You see? So me to say that this is not legal because your BSP or your government cannot be legalized this. If they're going to legalize, imagine uh, 110 million population, everyone become as traders. Then who's going to go to the local banks? Think about it. Makes sense also, right? So they're going to close their shop, that's why. Clear? At the, second, at the same time, they cannot say this is an illegal industry. If someone says this is illegal, you bring them, go to the national bookstore, there is a lot of books uh, regarding forex, correct or not? Then how can they can sell the books? 
If they say still illegal, bring them, go to the nearest local bank. Whereby you can see two big screens over there. Mm. We buy US dollars at this rate and we sell the same US dollars at this rate. Is it the same? They buy and sell the same rate, is it? No. No, it differs every day. Correct or not? From there they make their profit. This is what the same thing, huh? we are going to do whatever your local banks are doing out there. Clear? Yeah. So, it's not legal, it's not illegal. This is a grey area. Do on your own risks. Clear, guys? Yeah. Now, second question about the taxation. Whatever you're going to earn, let's say you earn 1 million US dollars from this trade, is it taxable? <coughs> Yeah, I'm talking about Philippines. Is it taxable? Yes. Yes. No. The answer is no. No. Now, who is uh, which body is responsible for your taxation? BIR, right? Bureau of Internal Revenue, right? Correct? Yes. Internal means what? Whatever you earn in peso. Are we gonna earn in peso? No. No, right? So that means there is another body so called as Bureau of External Revenue. Voila! So there is no tax. Because we are going to earn in US dollars. But guys, as a citizen of Filipino, it's always good to pay the tax. Otherwise, you have to declare. Yeah, this is what happened to us in Malaysia. One of the day, you know, one of my bank managers called me. He asked us to come and uh, declare from where the money comes. Otherwise, they will categorize us under the drug pusher, drug slots. Yeah. <laughs> Everywhere happens, right? Even in Malaysia, Singapore, also the same, right? Okay? Now, uh, I just brought my laptop to show him, to prove to him from where I, I, I got a lot of money since for the past few months, correct? And he also, like, he's a bank manager. He don't even know what his forex industry is all about. Yeah. Because for the bank, you know who is doing all these trades or not? It's a fund managers, not the bank managers. Right? It's a fund managers. So they will keep this in a very high, high secure, you know, whatever it is, secrets for them. They won't, they don't even tell you how to trade. Believe me. If you don't believe me, go and ask them. Because it's already stated in their contract over there. All right now, guys? So uh, what I did, I wanted to declare, you know, I wanted to pay the tax. And there is no such a law stated over there. Forex traders must pay the taxation. Clear? But hang on. If you, as a Filipino, if you want to buy a house or properties or whatever it is, you still need to declare to your government from where the money comes from. Correct? Yes. So at that time, you need to pay the tax. Or you need to buy the house like how a foreigner comes here and buy the house. Anyhow, there is a you know, uh, extra you know, money you're not going to pay. Anyhow, it's taxable. But don't worry, once you make your million, you got a lot of money, right? Clear? Yeah. So you can appoint your own accountant, own consultants, own lawyers. This is what I'm doing right now. So they will do the work for me. Let the professional handle their jobs. Simple as that. Clear? And, uh, and it, just now you asked me a question, right, ma'am? Yeah. Can you repeat it? Oh, 90 and 10%. Okay. How do you know that 90% are fail and 10% are making a profit? This is what you're asking, right? Okay, guys. We have a lot of websites for that. Like for bloggers, you know, I don't need to teach you. If I say forex industry, you even though we don't have this kind of preview, you'll be able to get tons of knowledge from my guru. Oh, Google eh? YouTube. Someone go for Yahoo and you know where, where you're going to search all that, correct or not? So it you no know, even this one also we got from that actually. Yes. Okay, even uh, we always um, follow the news. You know what happens to the uh, you know uh, US dollars, what happened to the euro currencies? Yes, of course. Anything to ask guys? <laughs> If you don't understand anything, please ask me. Yes. Don't go and ask your neighbors. They wouldn't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Am I right? Okay, there is no question, guys. Alright, and uh, 
Have you watched the video previously? Yes. 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 Okay, so we're going to play again. Guys, so this.